drop yourselves in for the ride of your lives here on I'm a Celebrity. Get Get me out of here! Colleen Rooney, the wife of Manchester United and England legend Wayne, the name that everyone wants to see how she gets on in the jungle. Uh, she's spoken for the first time about um, signing up to I'm a Celebrity. Uh, she, she said as well, actually, that she reckons Wayne would be up for doing it, but he just doesn't have the time. He's obviously the manager of Plymouth Argar, but she reckons, um, she said that she reckons he'd have a go um, if he had time. And she said, I'm not saying he would go in, but he wouldn't be completely put off. So you never know what the future might hold in that respect. Um, Colleen also said that she'd... Uh, obviously discussed going into the jungle with her family she said that their eldest son kai who's recently turned 15 told her to just go for it um she did warn as well um that she she's got a habit that might um not sit well with some of the grouchy campmates uh, after they've been deprived of a bit of sleep she said that she didn't know it but wayne told her that she's a snorer so um yeah, and that might be something that um, becomes a bit of a bugbear for some of the other campmates as as the days and weeks progress. She's obviously their star signing, and yeah, everyone is excited for when she makes her arrival in camp. So, Dancing on Ice judge Oti Mabuse, uh, obviously also formerly Strictly dancer, she says, um, so, so she gave birth to her daughter, last October and she actually went through quite a traumatic uh, labour. Oti herself ended up contracting sepsis. Uh, her daughter was born very prematurely and she had to stay in hospital for six weeks. Um, so yeah she's not long turned one and Oti's now uh, heading into the jungle and she says um, that she actually can't wait to get in there despite the sleep deprivation for most uh, campmates. Oti says that she's actually going to catch more shut-eye because, um, yeah, you can only imagine uh, what it's like for a new mum that first year uh, with your little baby. She must be absolutely exhausted from that, so it might be a bit of a, a, bit of a break for her. McFly's Danny Jones. I think he's going to be quite fun. Um, McFly uh, is... His bandmate Dougie actually is obviously one. I'm a celeb, and his other bandmate Tom Fletcher, his his partner Giovanna, won it a few years back. So uh, probably going to be a bit of pressure on him to perform in the jungle and go on and be crowned the king of the jungle. Um, he's saying that <laughs> it's quite funny. He says, "I love burgers. I only go to the gym so I can eat burgers and drink beer." but I'm 100% up for the jungle shower. For me, about showing my little boy, it's okay to be scared. It's do it and conquer it. And yeah, I think he's going to be great. When when we saw him, when he touched down, um, they're obviously, you know, making out like they're here for every other reason apart from I'm a celeb. And he said that he was here to record a new solo album. So uh, yeah, see how he gets along doing that in the jungle camp, but I think he'll be brilliant. So former boxing champion Barry McGuigan, um, he has said, he, he jetted in tonight, he was the last arrival, landed at 10.40 in the evening in Brisbane. Um, he he actually told us that he, um, what was it, he said he's out here looking for the best Australian fighter and then he went quite coy after that and didn't want to chat too much. Um, but he's saying that his dream campmate would be his wife. They've been married for 43 years and he's still madly in love with her. And his sons have told him, <laughs> don't pick your ears or pick your nose and try not to use bad language. So, yeah, he's a, he's a bit older. He's 63. So it could be, you know, if his wife meets him on the bridge, then um, it could be, you know, like when we saw Harry, Harry Redknapp, those few years back with uh, being met by his wife, Sandra, um, might be quite sweet to see them reunited. But yeah, there's a lot to play for in between all that anyway. The N-dubs singer, Talisa, um, she arrived in this morning. 
interestingly, in her um, sort of pre-jungle interview, she has said that she doesn't want to draw attention to herself and she's um, packed three plain bikinis. She's not going to be stepping out in white and um, be the polar opposite for the shower. And um, she says if someone can hold up a towel, then she'll ask them to. And uh, yeah, obviously... Everyone's always interested to know who's going to um, be wearing what when they step into the famous jungle shower. Um, she did draw attention to herself at the airport a little bit because she turned up. She had a face mask on, cap on with her hood up. And uh, once we obviously realised it was her, she didn't say a word to the press that were waiting for her initially. But then she, she uh, warmed up a bit. said she fancies a McDonald's and a Big Mac and uh yeah, that that was her on her way um to wherever it is she's staying before she goes into camp. Sun columnist Jane Moore is also among them. She'll be flying the flag for the sun in Australia. Uh Jane says that her loose women colleagues have been saying to her for so many years to do I'm a celebrity. They told her that she'd love it and now she's saying she thinks that they'll be thrilled. And uh, she said, but vomit live on TV. Now that is a career highlight. So, yeah, it will be just amazing to see how like they cope with the Bush Tucker trials. Fingers crossed Jane uh, can go all the way and, yeah, keep flying the flag for the sun. So Coronation Street star Alan Housel, he's, he's among those who have already landed in Australia as well. He he was actually meant to be on last year's series, but a knee injury meant that he had to pull out. And he was he says that he was in a bit of shock when uh, when he had to pull out last year. Um, and he he says that he's still signed off surgically, but he he can do so he can do the Bush Tucker trials, but he's got seven months of physio ahead of him. So yeah, there are obviously some really sort of physically challenging. trials and whatnot so he seemed uh in good nick when we saw him at the airport he wasn't wasn't limping or anything like that as far as i noticed uh so yeah i bet he's raring to go and uh especially he must have been gutted when he missed out last year so gk barry who's a podcaster very well followed on tiktok as well um she actually says in in her quotes that have been released by itv that um On Ant and Dex Jungle Club a couple of years ago, they said, what is a GK Barry? And now fast forward to 2024 and she's going to be on the show. And she says it, it's gone full circle. She told us when she arrived at the airport earlier this evening that she's um, she she enjoyed a bottle of wine. And that's going to be one of the things that she misses while she's in Australia. Told us that she was here for a Zen retreat. But uh, yeah, she said um, that she's going to miss miss the wine and the weather spoons from back home, and yeah, she she seems pretty uh, like like she definitely speaks her mind. So um, yeah, I think I think she'll make for a good camp mate. Melvin O'Doom, he's Radio One presenter, and he says that he wants to look as good as his mate Marvin from JLS. did last year when uh, he looked sick in the shower Melvin says um, but he does warn that he can become a different person if he's not actually eaten enough so um, I think we might see moody Melvin as he calls himself after um, if they miss out on a few stars during the trials then uh, could see his personality change a bit but yeah he, he's absolutely ripped going by his some of the pictures that he's posted on Instagram Dean McCullough um, He's also a Radio 1 presenter and uh, he he arrived in Oz um, in a in an Adidas tracksuit uh, with a spring in his step. He was really chatty um, and, yeah, looked delighted to be here, um, fresh as a daisy after a long old flight. Uh, see how long that lasts once he's stuck in camp, not eating much and not sleeping much. But Dean says... The more I think about being put in the ground with 50 snakes, well, there's just no point thinking about it, as otherwise I won't get on the plane. So that's all of the 10 who have been announced so far officially by ITV. The Sun has obviously reported that Maura Higgins, who 
was on Love Island and the Reverend Richard Coles, he was on Strictly a number of years back. Uh, they're going to be, we imagine, the late arrivals in the camp. So that would be quite an interesting dynamic to see what the producers have them doing when they arrive. Um, a few years ago, a couple of years ago, Sean Walsh was uh, pitted with Matt Hancock and they had to deceive some of their campmates when, when they arrived in camp. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the producers have got up their sleeves uh, when Maura and Reverend Richard Coles arrive into the jungle.